Here is another viewer requested video. The individual wanted to know how they could create a sloped roof on a flat roof or a structure with level joist. And to do that, we're going to need to figure out the length of the roof that is going to be sloping. And in our example here, we're going to be using 10 feet, a 20 foot span that we will be breaking up into two sections. Now the minimum slope for a roof is usually going to be a quarter of an inch per foot. And an example of that would be that it needs to rise one quarter of an inch vertically for every 12 inches horizontally. And if I take a quarter of an inch and multiply it by 10, I'm going to end up with 2.5 inches, allowing us to use a 2 by 4 that is 3.5 inches. Remember, I said the minimum slope is going to be a quarter of an inch per foot. However, it can always be larger, unless specified on the building plans. And that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to use a 2 by 4 and just simply draw a line from one side to the other side and then simply cut the piece of wood into two pieces. Then I'm going to take each piece and attach it to the existing roof. And you can use nails or building hardware to do something like this. Obviously you won't be able to use a three and a quarter inch nail on the sections that might be larger than two inches but you can definitely use the nails on the lower part of the rip strips. And then we're going to use toenails to attach the larger sections, or the taller sections, I should say, that we wouldn't be able to drive a nail straight down through the top of it in. And you're going to need to have the angled nails on both sides, maybe 16 inches on center, 24 inches on center. And you can always use building hardware if you need to. And for something like this, I would try to block it after if you could. I like to block it like this with a larger block that will help me connect all of these pieces together. However, if you're working with an existing building, you might not be able to do that. You'll just use smaller blocks. And hopefully all of this makes sense. However, if it doesn't, make sure you leave any questions you have in the comment area and I will try to answer them as soon as possible.